Welcome to Programming Hustle, I'm Nanad and today we're going to take a look at how can we make our game to be frame rate independable so that gameplay stays consistent no matter if you have supercomputer or this thing. In this episode we're going to talk about Delta Time. We're going to see why Delta Time makes your game frame rate independable. So what is Delta Time? It is a time in seconds between two frames. So for example, if your game runs at 30 frames per second, then there are 30 di distinct frames in one second, which means that time between two frames, two distinct frames is one divided by 30, which is 0 0.0333333, etc. And down here you see example for if your game runs at 60 frames per second. Okay, now you know what the delta time is, but you're probably wondering, well, how the help will this help us make our game frame rate independable? Well, uh, let's set the speed of moving up to 10. Okay, 10.f. So let's say we have 30 frames per second. And if, if you have 30 frames per second, then delta time will be 0 0.033333. So this tick method will be called 30 times in one second. So look at this, every frame z increases for speed of moving up, which is 10 times delta time, which is 0 0.033333, as you can see here. That means that z increases every frame for 0 0.33333, etc. So that means that every second z increases for 30, because we have 30 frames in one second, times 0 0.33333, because that's by how much z increases in one frame. And if we imagine that there are infinite number of frees after decimal point, this equals to 10. But what would happen if we had 60 frames per second? So if we had 60 here, well look, now this would change to 0 0.01666 etc. This would also change and this would be 0 0.1666 etc. So if we had 60 frames per second, z will increase for this value every frame. That means that every second, okay, now we have 60 because we have 60 frames per second now times 0. 0.1666 etc. So 60 times 0 0.16666 equals to 10 again. You can check it with calculator if you want. Well, let's actually check this in code. So here it is. This is 30 frames per second scenario. And this is 60 frames per second scenario. I created new C++ project that, just to show you this. This program is not related with Unreal. And we see how you print things on the screen, in the console more precisely. So this is by how much z increases in one second, speed of moving up, and 30 frames in one second. How, by how much z increases if we have 60 frames per second, speed of moving up, and 60 frames in one second. So let's run this. And as you can see, 10 equals to 10. So these two are equal. So no matter if you have supercomputer or toast gameplay will be exactly the same and that is why delta time is so cool an awesome feature no exercises for this video because i don't really think there's something more regarding delta time have a great day and see you in next episode